Let's talk about complex numbers and specifically imaginary i. We use this when we have the square root of a negative number. So let's think about this negative 25, the square root of negative 25. When we're looking for the square root of something, we're looking for the same number times itself to give us whatever is here inside that square root, right? So let's explore that a little bit more. There's no way that we can multiply a number times itself and get a negative number. Five times five gives us positive 25. Negative five times negative five also gives us a positive 25. The only way that we could get negative 25 is if we multiplied one positive and one negative. And well, these two aren't the same number. So what we do is we split this negative 25 up into the square root of 25 and the square root of negative one because negative one times 25 would give us negative 25. So we're just kind of separating that out for now. So then the square root of 25 is five, that's fine. And then for the negative one, we call that i. So we get five i.